As most of you probably already know, hopefully all of you probably already know, Nolan Arenado was traded to the St. Louis Cardinals. Personally, I am a Cardinals fan, and for me, I love this. I I'm super happy to get him. Uh, over the past few years, it seems like every offseason, everyone's just saying, oh yeah, the Cardinals are interested in Arenado, blah, blah, blah. And then I just get let down. We don't end up getting him. So I remember, you know, before he got traded to us, seeing some rumors, oh, Cardinals interested in Nolan Arenado. And I remember talking with my brother and my dad and being like, oh, great. It's going to be another year of getting let down. And then literally, I think that same day was when it first broke that the Cardinals actually got Nolan Arenado. In the comment section, let me know your thoughts on this move. Do you think it's good for the Cardinals, good for the Rockies, bad for both, good for both, maybe bad for the Rockies, good for the Cardinals? Any thoughts on this deal? Let me know down in the comment section. Maybe let me know if you think it solidifies the Cardinals as the front runner, I guess, for the NL Central. I know some, maybe, I, I don't even know who it was, but some predictions just got released for the standings and it had the brewers in first i think maybe even the cardinals in fourth place but brewers in first i think maybe cubs in second and either reds or cardinals in third before we hop into this rebuild if you guys could do me a favor leave a like on this video maybe subscribe to the channel for some more mlb the show content and i'm gonna do anywhere between one and three seasons i'm not sure i don't really do rebuilds i don't watch a whole lot of rebuilds so i'm not sure what people who like to watch rebuilds i'm not sure what you guys want to see do you want to see three seasons two one more than three like i'm just not sure what you want to see so maybe any feedback or anything by the end of the video let me know that as well down in the comments as far as i know these should be the most updated rosters if we go over and check the brewers you guys can see they do have colton wong on this set of rosters so i'm pretty sure this should be accurate if there's something off i'm sorry about that but i th i think it should be the most accurate one and i guess we can start simming through the season like i said I'm not really a big... What the heck's going on? So we just traded Evan Mendoza to the D-backs for Galley Cribs Jr. But like I was saying... Oh, man. And then we already made a trade with the Padres. Uh, Rudy Guyron to Jordan Walker. Or for Jordan Walker. <laughs> Bro, what's going on? We're making a lot of trades already. Oh, my goodness. Um, but let me, let me just try to finish my thought while all this is going... Wait, 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 wait. I swear to God, I saw Dylan Carlson's name in there. Hey, let me stop this. Let me let me stop this and just see. Let me see if he's still on the roster. Go down a little bit. Okay, he's still here. My bad. For some reason, I, I, need, I need to be reading these, I guess. But uh, as I was saying, before we sim, I don't do rebuilds. I've, I've only done a few ever, so and I don't really watch them. So I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not the best rebuilder. I don't know exactly how these should go, but bear with me a little bit, okay? We're going to see how the Cardinals do. We're going to see how it goes. See if we can make any moves in the offseason. Anything like that. And wow. <laughs> oh, yikes. Oh, man. This is uh, this is not starting off well for us. It's not going very well for us right now. Oh, my goodness. 25 and 44. And we're losing a lot of games. We're just going to keep going. Uh, like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I don't want to spend time doing things that I have no idea what I would be doing. And let's just let's just do a midway season check, an all-star break check, and just kind of see, I guess, where Nolan Arenado's at for us. Let's just see how he's doing. He's cold. Okay, so he's hitting 274 on the season. 20 homers, though. That's that's not bad. That's a pretty good amount of power. 60 RBIs to start, but average just a little bit low. Uh, so, you know, not as good as we would have hoped, but not bad by any means. And I want to check the all-star roster. I want to see the all-star voting and just see if Nolan Arenado is up there. So, he's not. He's in fourth place. Oh, Cabrian Hayes, third in the all-star voting. Tommy LaStella first. Chris Bryan second. Okay. All right. Well, let's continue with the season and just see if maybe it can pick up in the second half for us. But... It's not really looking too likely for us. AL defeats the NL in the All-Star game. We just got swept by the Yankees. Man, oh man. This is uh, this is not how I am expecting the actual season to go. You never know, but uh, I, I would say this is not what I'm expecting from the actual season. If I'm, if I'm going to be straight up. I feel like we're going to do a little bit better than that. Maybe not. Wow. Yeah, we're going to stop simulating for a second, just see. So this is the playoff picture, wildcard games. 
Red Sox versus Yankees, and then Padres versus Nationals. And then the division winners in the AL, the Twins, Blue Jays, and Angels. Okay. And then in the NL, we got Philadelphia, Milwaukee, and the Dodgers. No surprise there with the Dodgers, but wow. So let's just check out the Central. They... The predictions that I was talking about at the beginning of this video that had just gotten released, those had the Brewers winning 89 games. But it did not, it definitely did not have the Pirates doing better than the Cardinals. I feel like this is not accurate. I feel like that's just not accurate. Uh, Yelich, league leader for batting average. Let's just check. Uh, let's go ahead and check the roster, see how Nolan Arenado finished. So, 276 average, only 34 homers, 95 RBIs. Wow. Not really what, as a Cardinals fan, I was hoping for from the season. But, hey, maybe, maybe you know, he's just a little bit nervous for his first year. I want to check the awards real quick. So, most valuable player. Wow. Okay, Aaron Nola. A pitcher winning most valuable player in the NL. In the AL, Mike Trout, 342 average, 41 homers. You love to see it. You love, love, love to see that. Okay. Um, so let's just go ahead and check Cy Young. Obviously, Aaron Nola, if he's winning MVP, he's probably winning Cy Young. Justin Verlander winning it in the AL. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, I guess I, I do want to check the gold glove. I want to check gold glove third base. That's what I want to see here too. Wow, Nolan I are not, I don't know. Nowhere to be found. Okay. You know, a, a little bit of a down year from uh from nolan arenado but that's okay that's that's not a big deal we're gonna see who wins the world series and the blue jays have defeated the dodgers obviously you know we're, we're kind of doing this as 2021 but it's 2020 here but the blue jays have defeated the dodgers in the world series it was the blue jays versus boston in the alcs and milwaukee versus the dodgers in the nlcs i just don't see that happening i don't you know <laughs> maybe it will but i, I don't see that happening in uh in in the upcoming season adam wainwright retires after this one not super surprised by that and let's oh albert Pujols retired hall of fame inductee no surprise there that he's going to be making the hall of fame and uh career average below 300 kind of sad to see a little bit of a decline and the tigers trade is cj crone of the cardinals for matt carpenter wow we're here for the second season of this rebuild i think we're just going to do three seasons and kind of see how it goes uh, spring training we didn't do super hot we just we last year we did not do we didn't do good it was just a terrible season for us and uh, this one's already starting off bad which is not what we'd like to see I'm trying to keep an eye on these trades to see if there's any big names I'm not really expecting any big names to uh, to come through we just got swept by the Dodgers and then the Mets Oh, man, we almost got swept in a four-game series. And now the Astros trade us Billy Hamilton for CJ Crone, who we got in the offseason. Uh, we traded Matt Carpenter for him. And already, this is a bad, bad year for us. Already up to 43 losses, 44 now on the season. It's not looking like we're going to make the playoffs here. I'm kind of disappointed in this. Actually, you know, we just picked it up a little bit. That's not bad. Let's uh, let's stop simulating and just see where Nolan Arenado's at at the halfway mark and see the all-star voting. So first, we're just going to check all-star voting and see what the third base position is looking like. Hey, he's third place this year. Chris Bryant, though, still first place. Not even certain that Chris Bryant's going to be on the Cubs, though, for the 2021 season. Wow. 289 average up a little bit. 16 homers down from last year. 52 RBIs down from last year. Just definitely not what i'm hoping for the first couple of years of nolan arenado you know there's still a lot of season left we're at pretty much the halfway mark so anything could happen but you know that his first half was worse than his first half last year so that's not a good sign for us and i'm ho i'm hoping that we could you know maybe sneak in the wild card here marlins acquired david Dahl from the rangers okay that's a pretty that's the first i think a big big trade we've have i think these only pop up when there's uh you know big trades but we got to start winning some ball games we're not winning that many oh man oh we just got swept by the nationals and the padres and almost the cubs oh dear yeah this is not this is another season not making the playoffs for us wow disappointing so let's stop simulating let's check out the mvp voting oh my goodness i just th this uh, my my mind is blown right now is this how franchise goes a lot of the time? 
M maybe I maybe I'm doing something wrong, but Blue Jays versus Astros in the wild card, Phillies versus Padres in the wild card. Those two aren't super surprising for me, but Tigers winning the AL Central. And I guess this would technically be 2022, right? But Tigers winning the Central, uh, then the Yankees and Angels both winning their divisions. I just don't see the Angels winning in 2021 and 2022. I don't, I don't see them winning the division. Uh, Nats, Cubs, Dodgers, not super surprising there. I, I don't see the Nats winning the East, though, uh, any time coming up. Maybe I mean, maybe. You never know. But I just feel like there's, there's better teams in the division. But, hey, I could be wrong. Uh, let's check out the awards. MVP, Corey Seager. And Eloy Jimenez, okay. Nice to see Yo Jordan with 54 homers. Wow. Uh, Cy Young, Steven Strasburg, and Robbie Ray on the Blue Jays. Okay, now let's check out third base. Uh, go Glove. Nolan Arenado, second right here. And we can go ahead and check how he did on the season. So 279 average, finished better than last year. Only 24 homers, 82 RBIs. Wow. I really hope this is just completely inaccurate. I really, really do. This is not going well so far for his first few years in St. Louis. Let's send the postseason. And we have the Astros <laughs> defeating the Nationals in the 2021 World Series. I guess so. All right. And we have the, the Tigers making the ALCS and taking it to seven games. Wow. I really, I you know, am I crazy for thinking that this franchise mode, there, there's something inaccurate about franchise mode? Am I crazy for thinking thinking that? Am I doing something wrong here? Or is this how rebuilds typically go? Or am I completely just doing terrible and doing something wrong? So Yadier Molina retired. He does not make the Hall of Fame according to MLB The Show. But Miguel Cabrera and Robinson Cano do make the Hall of Fame. The Astros sign Noah Syndergaard to a six-year deal. The Phillies sign Francisco Lindor to a nine-year deal. Okay, wow. Uh, Red Sox, Will Smith, Twins, Michael Gibbons, Kevin Guzman to the Reds, Kershaw to the Blue Jays for seven years. <laughs> okay. Hey, I, you know, I don't know if I would expect him to go to the Marlins, but I would not be surprised if, if Trevor Story did not re-sign with the Dodgers, or the, the, the Dodgers, the Rockies. Corey Seager not signing with the Dodgers. He's going to the Reds. Eddie Rosario to the Marlins. Schwarby to the, uh, to the Rockies. Wow. Okay. Uh, very interesting moves here in the offseason. Well, this is going to be the final year of this rebuild. And I'm assuming when people do rebuilds, right, they check out free agents. Like, you Darvish is a free agent here. I would assume people could could, could sign him, right? You know, if, if I wanted to do this, roster's currently full cat. So, so maybe I shouldn't even uh, try to do anything here, right? But, you know, say we want to release Austin Warner and pick up you darvish like is that something that i'm allowed to do in rebuilds again I'm, I'm completely new to rebuilds i don't know too much about them i don't really know anything about them um so i'm just curious if that's something that i'm like allowed to do but we just picked up you darvish i feel like he could hopefully help our rotation a little bit um you know we have we have jack flaherty who's great nolan arenado still but i'm, I'm looking at starting pitchers here carlos martinez you darvish right there miles michaelis and uh you know Ponce de Leon so let's let's say I was gonna say let, I, I could maybe try to get rid of another starting pitcher if I get rid of Mason Wynn here does that allow me to get David Price or is my roster yeah okay so we just got David Price too so maybe that will help us I'm really not sure uh, I think I have auto roster on I probably should you Darvish on the MLB roster, though, I'm just, I'm hoping this season goes better than the others. But when, when people do rebuilds, are they constantly looking through free agents, trying to make trades, or are they doing what I do where you just kind of leave it be, you know, let things sit and, and simmer and marinate and just see how it goes? Because uh, what I'm doing is not working. We just almost got swept by the Orioles. We got swept by the Dodgers. We got swept by the Brewers. Like, am I... Uh, uh, Oh man, this is this is heartbreaking to see. This this is truly heartbreaking to see th th these seasons going this bad. This is just not what I would expect. I mean, may maybe this will happen, but it it's really not what I would expect. I'm um, not seeing you Darvish pitching for us at all. So I actually during the All Star break now, where I'm actually I'm actually gonna try to do something. We're 39-57. Something needs to change. Let's go ahead and, and do our pitching rotation. So. I swear to God, it said that uh, that 
you Darvish was on the MLB roster. Maybe not. Oh, wow. He, okay, so he's just regret. He went from... Wasn't he like an 80-something when I got him, and now he's a 74? He's 2-9 and nine on the season. Wow. Um, okay. Uh... I feel like the regression is terrible. That doesn't make any sense to me. Whatever. Um, I, I shouldn't look too much into it, but that just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, we're going to go to third base. Nolan Arenado, nowhere to be found, man. Um, on the season, 289 average so far. That's not bad. Uh, 14 homers. That's bad. Wow. Okay. I mean, you know, his OPS is just steadily going down. I, I, I find it hard to believe that it's going to go from you know, above 900 down to, down to 850 or lower in the next three seasons. Maybe though, I mean, you know, the core is effect. You never know. We're, we're going to have to wait and see. I just feel like that's not super likely, but hey, maybe it will be. AL defeats the NL again, and let's see if we can make the World Series. You know, we started off the All-Star break second half. Okay, um, it, it seems like it's getting worse though. We got to win these division games, and we're losing too many uh, games within our division right now. And it, it's just looking like, you know, already at 81 losses. That's going to be another year. No playoffs for us. Yeah. Unfortunately, we did not make it. We're going to stop. And let's just see what's going on. So Astros versus Rays in the wild card game. Cubs versus Reds in the NL. White Sox, Blue Jays, and Angels again. Three years in a row for the Angels being the division winner. I just don't see that happening, but you never know. Brewers, Nats, Padres. Padres, maybe. The Dodgers are good, but the, the Brewers and Nationals winning their division, I think, two out of three times in the next three years. I don't see that happening. Maybe. You never know, but I just, I really don't see it happening. Uh, real quick, MVP, Chris Paddock, again, a pitcher wins it. I just find that hard to believe, two out of three years. Your Don's winning it as the DH. Okay, Cy Young, obviously, Chris Paddock, Andrew Haney. And then, let's just check Gold Glove, third base. Okay. Well, you know, Nolan Arenado's not on there. Let's see how he finished the season. Let's see how Nolan Arenado finished the season. 294 average. So that's his best average since. However, only 23 homers. You know, a little bit more. His OPS was higher. Slugging percentage definitely lower. Just not really what I was hoping, if I'm going to be honest, for Nolan Arenado's first three years in St. Louis. You know, maybe he does. I, and I, I guess one thing I will say is I don't know how he did in 2020. Uh, in real life so i guess i don't have that to compare to I, I didn't brush up on that before this video but not really what i wanted from it and we're gonna go ahead and just real quick before we go see how the postseason goes but i would love for you guys to let me know in the comments what i could do to make the rebuilds better if you want to see more rebuilds because i think they could be fun to do i would really enjoy doing rebuilds uh within MLB 21, maybe as we approach MLB 21, if there's any more big moves, like say Chris Bryant goes to the Mets, do one of those, maybe a Francisco Lindor rebuild uh, for the Mets, you know, anything like that, it, you know, Trevor Bauer, Dodgers, if there's anything you guys would want to see, I would definitely have fun doing it, but you got to give me some feedback on this one because I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I screwed this up. Nolan Arenado did terrible. The Cardinals did terrible. I feel like I completely screwed up this rebuild, but maybe that's just how franchise is and I'm going to be the show. And I'm um, curious, any feedback you guys have to please leave it in the comment section. The Rays are defeating the Nationals in the 2022 World Series. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess so. And I hope you guys enjoyed it though. Like, comment, sub, all that good stuff. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow.